Many people don't realise just how much of a risk a grass seed can pose for our dogs, especially during the summer months when the grasses are seeding. They come in all different sizes and shapes, but a grass seed like this one, for example, can get between the toes, it can get stuck, it can get in the eye, in the ears, especially when they're doing stuff like that. But because of its pointy shape, it can also penetrate the skin and it can then migrate in the body, getting into the eyes, the spine, the lungs, the brain, the possibilities are endless. If the seed has punctured the skin, then symptoms of local irritation may include swelling between the toes, redness and discharge from the eyes if the seed's there, limping, coughing or gagging if it's in the lungs, sudden behavioural changes such as irritability or lethargy. If you notice something isn't quite right with your dog and suspect that a grass seed may be to blame, it's important to act quickly and seek veterinary help. If left untreated, grass seeds can cause severe pain, infections and even life-threatening conditions like abscesses, pneumonia or even sepsis. Treatment for grass seed problems varies depending on the severity and location of the seed. Your veterinarian may need to remove the seed under general anaesthetic and believe me, they can be very tricky to find in some cases. Pain relief and antibiotics may also be prescribed. To prevent grass seed problems, you can groom often, keep the fur short, especially on the feet. And if you've been for a walk in a grassy area in particular, then check them out afterwards. Come on, Monty, let's have a look. You can also use protective clothing or boots for your dog's paws and keep them away from long grasses or areas with seeds. I've treated many grass seed cases and some of them were quite serious. So it's best to be vigilant and take preventative measures to keep your dog safe from grass seed dangers. Isn't that right, Mia? Yes. Yeah. <laughs>